already told me, so I'm back home in Korea. But just a couple weeks ago, I was in California. Well, not a couple weeks ago. Literally yesterday, I was in California. And a couple weeks ago, I actually got to go to the Rose Bowl with Karina. And I also got to meet Alexa, as you guys may know, as Alexa Sunshine 83 on the YouTube. <laughs> actually, we're going to be uh, meeting with Alexa. This is the first time I've actually will meet her. So, ta -da. Yeah, Karina picked me up with Lewis and we went over to Rose Bowl. This is my first time going. I don't know if y'all have went, but if y'all haven't, make sure to bring cash on you. I think maybe there are some sellers that allow maybe like a Zelle or Venmo or something, but cash is always the preferred method. There are ATMs there just in case if you forgot to take out money like I did. Also, if you plan on potentially buying a whole lot, the space is really freaking big. So instead of just getting like a tote bag, maybe get like one of those like rolly carts or something. Karina had that and that helped us out so much. Now, I wasn't looking for anything in particular, really, but if I could have found like a brown leather jacket or a brown blazer, or if it's just a regular oversized like moto jacket, yes. I wanted to get a lot more like homeware stuff, getting some little like trinkets or anything like that, little dishes, because I know that is one thing that's really hard to find here in Korea. And it also can be quite expensive. You can't thrift any kind of like homeware things. So that was something else that I kept my eyes open for. Other than that, I wasn't trying to be too picky. I didn't want to have like a set list of things I wanted because every time I do that, I end up leaving empty handed. So I was like, let's just keep it up to the universe. So Karina and Alexa took me to uh, one of the vendors that they buy from and they told me that was going to be like the most affordable like stall because that dude has a lot of different things why is this for like a child i would have bought that as well. oh yeah yeah <gasps> that's my biggest fear i acknowledged it now so now it oh, lives on forever so thanks to karina she's like oh we found this like brown kind of like blazer thing do you want to try it on and so here's the thing with trying on anything brown if you are wearing brown already in your outfit it just looks so good and so when i try on the jacket okay i feel like you have to have it damn they are such enablers <laughs> why not and it was only 10 bucks so i did buy that definitely going to rose bowl you have to have a level of patience really just gotta love like that whole journey that comes with like looking through a whole bunch of stuff to find like a little gem i wasn't really finding many things any things really but it was just cool to see some of us did find some luck in finding like that piece that they've been searching for forever and that was alexa she found some really great shorts that look great on her jorts really great jorts and it looked great on her oh in one of these stores i came across these like half jean half crochet jeans yo i don't know how to crochet but i think if i learned i could do that Ooh, look at these pants girl i wish it could fit but just my arm can fit mm, there's cute I mean, I'm sure I you can learn. Like a pair of old jeans you have and they could just add Yo, them. you're right. They add the stuff on the side. Like this. Yeah. <gasps> okay. This is the next project I'm going to try. I think that would be a really cute kind of like spring, summer little look that I can do. Maybe I can do it in like a skirt form. And so then another freaking craft DIY project has been added onto my very long list of things that I want, a very long list of things that I want to do and create. But you know what? I might do it. I just might do it. There were so many cute stalls. Of course, these are curated items, right? So you have people that take their time into going around California or even going around around different other states and to look through all these things to find like you know really cute pieces prices are in those stalls obviously going to reflect the work that they put in this is really good for people that really like thrifted items or sustainable items or like to have unique pieces but don't want to have to go through the work of having to dig through like endless amount of clothes to just find one thing that may or may not even fit you or whatever so going to more of these curated sellers is definitely something you could look into and just know the price that you're paying for is not only just for the item but also for the work and time that this person has put into finding these things so then with my one blazer i was like damn yo i was really thinking i was going to be finding all this stuff but maybe just today was not the day for me and that's fine we ended up going to the bins section and i was like okay cool we're gonna go through a whole bunch of stuff and when we enter i hear this person behind me saying like soy un gran fan de tu canal me gusta tu videos and i was like hey and there was this woman that was speaking to me in Spanish and she was just like, I'm a big fan of your channel. I watch your videos with my daughters. I was like, are you joking? <laughs> 
<laughs> she's like, no, no. I, like, I watch your videos and also Karina's videos. And I was like, oh my God. And she was telling me that they actually have a booth themselves. Her daughter is over there. And I was like, let me go say hi, you know? I was like, I could come back to the bins. So I went over to their stall and hello homies, if you are watching right now, it was so lovely to meet you, honestly. Like, Gracias. Bueno, yo soy Natalie. Mucho gusto. Mucho Natalie gusto. Margarita. Margarita. Sí. Te la traje que Hola. Hola. Hi. Hola. I'm Natalie. Nice name? to meet you, Luisa. Luisa. I wish nice my sister was here. Oh, damn. <laughs> Hi. Natalie, nice to meet you. Super cool jacket, dude. <laughs> Mom. Yeah. I was just like, la, la, la. She's like, soy tu padre. I was like, huh? <laughs> I saw my mom. I was like, Luisa how they talked with me i was just like like i could have cried and unfortunately one of the daughters wasn't there she i don't know had something else but she wasn't able to work that day so i was like oh darn so sad hello, hello. <laughs> oh cute this okay girl booth. we're here oh, uh permanent vendors at the rose bowl oh wow yeah. oh, girl cute. thank you so much for watching my video number yes. one thanks so for excited. saying hi yes. of course thank you yeah. for stopping yeah. by it was still so nice to meet you guys thank you so much for your support the fact that you guys were like listen we have cried with you we have celebrated you and your wins when i was going through everything with alvi her mom was like i como yo quisiera tu sabes ayudarle traerse pero aquí para ayudarle y todo and i was like that's so touching just obviously like you know you make videos and stuff and you hope that it inspires people you hope that it moves people and everything but when people really are like nah dude like i get you and like and i see you and all that stuff it just means the world to me so thank you so much for coming up and saying hi just also if you ever see me out and about like please say hi I actually got to meet a couple other homies during my trip when like just randomly and it always just like brings a smile to my face just hearing the fact that you guys like my videos and it has inspired you in any way we were talking for a hot minute and they had customers coming in and i was like oh sorry okay i think i should go now but their words were just so lovely your words were so lovely thank you so much for again that support yeah we're just saying like i can only imagine how hard it is like living by yourself without your family and all that stuff and just everything that you go through and again thank you thank you thank you it really meant a lot it made me so happy and then after that i went back to the bins i was just like searching for something that caught my attention and there was this giant bin of just like scarves and it's like <laughs> do i need any more oh no but look this is really cute i like these colors and this is a really small one but i think this could be a next scarf. you know what i would love to find is a scarf that's big enough to wrap around my body like twice because i could never find those Every time I see like those cool, like, look at these scarf hacks. I'm like, I can't do that. My boobs are too big. They don't fit. And then finally with my selection that I was just like, oh my God, which one do I pick? Which one do I pick? Do I do this one? Do da, 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 da. Finally, I got my pick. I go and ask them like, how much are these scarves? Now, Alexa and Karina tell me that the bins are cheap, right? The maybe like a dollar, three dollars or whatever. So I go up to him and I think I had like three or four, I don't know. And I was like, oh, how much are these scarves? And he was like, oh, seven. And I was like, oh, for everything? He was like, no, each. And I'm like, seven each? I was like, nah, I'm good. I was like, damn, he probably saw me with my camera. I was like, girl, shoot, you're going to be paying top price. Like, nah, I was not going to do seven. I was like, that's Korea prices. And actually, that's even more than Korea prices because it's 7,000 Korean won here, which would have been like $5 in USD. So I was like, yeah, no, never mind. So yeah, that was kind of a letdown. But then we ended up going to like the homework kind of little area. There were a whole bunch of things I was seeing that was so cute. The thing that I wish... I could have freaking bought was furniture but in my fantasy i was like oh, imagine if i could buy that sofa imagine if i could buy that random piece of art right there that would look so cute but yeah that was just in my fantasy yeah. <laughs> I look like McLovin. <laughs> oh, these are people's like prescription. But look. Oh, okay, Bayonetta. Bayonetta. Well, girl, now I ain't buying any of my vision. <laughs> Glory. I was messing up my eyes now. Okay. I'm very so wide. So wide. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Like, you know. I'm doing makeup though. <sighs> wow.
Oh, he's right here. The 99ers? The, <laughs> the gold miners? 49ers? The 49ers? The 69ers? The 69ers. But still number fun. one. But I got no point. Still number one. Damn, Luigi, Damn, what happened to the score? Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, yeah. Move, move, Natalie. Ooh, ooh. Shit. Oh. Letting go of the anger, like it helps win. It's, yeah. the, it's just getting the emotion out. Let's see how mad you get when you lose, bro. <laughs> I'm not losing, I'm 30. Oh, Who can top me? Who? Alright. Who gonna top okay. me now? Well, you can lose a race at least. Maybe you're not gonna lose this cup. race. You know that. You Maybe know you that. Lose the you'll lose the race. I'm on top. Y'all behind me. Let's get it. Damn. Look at my Mine is not as fast. Ooh, ooh. Oh my god, really? Me. And me specifically! Oh my god, why you gotta hit me when I'm so close? No! Why? Yeah. Number one! Number three! This was four! I was just that one! I was grooving! It don't matter, I'm still. I'm still on top. Dry right, bones about to get you. <laughs> Dry bones we're gonna become wet bones. Look, <laughs> you're fast. You get a better car, dude. Damn! I'm in six, bro. I can't have dry bones with. Damn, Natalie's up. Why are you mad? I'm bro? mad. This, this track sucks. Let it go, fucking live. Who the heck is hitting these? Oh, no, this is not my mentality. What happened? This is great, huh? I love this one. It's the most fun. I'm getting played, and it's not funny. Fuck off, Mario. Oh, oh. <laughs> I finally caught up to fucking third, and I get hit by a goddamn banana. Stupid banana. This is a long track. Oh my God. Put all these fucking bananas here. Oh shit! Oh my So this is only one. I hope Grand Bones didn't win. You better top three now. Oh my God. When I was at their place, Karina was like, girl, I got so many scars in my house that I can't just like give you. So she gifted me stuff. And also even like the day beforehand, she came to my house and like also gave me some clothes that she was like, maybe you might like. And so then this thrift haul is, yes, just as one thing from the Rose Bowl, but I also wanted to show you guys uh, all the other things that I was gifted by my friends or my sister or from the folks over on the interwebs because they are super cute. So let's get into the first thing. When I showed my sister this, she was like, oh God, Natalie, why'd you buy that but i liked it but i know she did and she was like girl no but anyways condition is overall good and for 10 bucks i'm like i'm not mad at it i think i definitely have to send this to like the dry cleaners because it has that funky smell i like that it's like slightly oversized it's long enough to cover my butt because you know how i feel about that some of these items i haven't tried on and that is uh, some things that karina gave me so first one is this top i really love the colorway that's on it 
It's 100% rayon, so I'm already thinking, okay, good for summertime. It's definitely breathable and it's cute and colorful. So I'm very excited to wear this. I actually haven't even tried it on because I was just like, oh yeah, thanks. And I put it in my luggage. And this is from the brand Betty Page. The next thing that she got me was this like crochet cardigan. It's hot pink, it's cute. There is no tag on it, so we don't know where it's from. This style of little cardigan is what my mom used to make for me, like way, way back when, like when I was in high school, but they were like so super, super cropped. They were like right under the bust. So this is definitely bringing me back. Again, this is something that I definitely see myself wearing for summertime as kind of like I need a little bit more coverage. There's something that's really great, but it's still breathable and it's cute and colorful, you know? And the next thing that she gave me was this almost cargo looking pleated skirt. This is from Carizia Jeans. And this is 100% linen, which again, good for summertime. So thank you, Karina girl, for hooking me up. Also need to give it a good iron because it was just like smushed in my luggage. Even though it's linen, I'm saying, if this is good for summer, girl, you already know I'm gonna be wearing these with my knee-high boots because I just think it, it's gonna look really cute. And let me show you some of the scarves that she gave me. This scarf, and because it is more of a long rectangle, I was like, ooh. We're gonna make her into a neck scarf because you know I love those. I realize that I have a lot of things with this color. <laughs> I do have a lot of green and I feel like I'm just gonna keep saying that's the Leo in me. And this one, oh my God, I was like, yes, with peach, peaches and fruits. This just screams springtime. I mean, like, come on now, wear a cute little picnic dress and get yourself on a picnic. And this is actually from Parade. And the last little scarf is this one. The design on it is giving me very much so 90s. Really cute, the, all these tulips. Let me show you some of the things that my sister gave me. This is actually a crochet top that she made. So cute. Look, it has freaking little hearts. She was like, do you want this? And I was like, yeah, girl, thank you. I really love that the back, like not only is the, the straps are adjustable, the whole piece is also adjustable. Like you can make it tighter. So I really, really like that. Well, my sister's always sewing and that's at Wildfire LA on Instagram. And so she made some turtlenecks. What she always does is that she always gives me this, the samples. This is like this checkered little mesh top. My sister loves crop tops. So all of these are, are cropped. I think those would be good for summertime. The next one is this butterfly one. I mean, the top part isn't even finished, but I was like, girl, I'll take it for free 99. I think I could definitely use this as a layering piece and it's gonna be breathable. And this one is the most finished turtleneck that she gave me, but she still told me that I need to sew the neck. I also did buy a whole bunch of fabric in this because I'm actually making a dress for an event in, in less than seven days. Ah! Listen, we did an almost completed mock version of it while I was in California, but I need to finish the rest here. You already know, on to another, you know, last minute sewing project. That's just me. Uh, so yes, yeah, she gave me these three turtlenecks. I actually helped, not really, I helped like 1% of making this, but whatever, I could at least say I helped on this one. And the last couple of things I wanted to show you is actually, I don't know if y'all can see the super cute earrings that I'm wearing, and that is from the brand Hey Polly. They are based in Australia. They sent me a whole bunch of stuff and I just opened up the box today. They are so cute. I mean, like, look at this stuff. Right up my alley, super fun. But if you're looking for some fun jewelry, check them out. Now, if Australia is a little bit too far for you, that's okay because another brand called Girly Pop Shop on Instagram sent me some of their items too and I thought I would just give them a shout out. Thank you so much to like, you know, listen, these are small businesses that are like, hey, can we send you stuff? And I'm like, of course, product and everything like aligns with what I like. So absolutely, if I can help in any way of just like shouting you out, hey, I'm more than happy to do so. This is from the Girly Pop Shop so cute and i recently wore these so i took it out of its packaging all handmade they're really cute and vibrant so i really love that i have these that are like super big and over the top which is like that's me and i'm gonna be able to pair it with some of the more like daintier cuter little items like this i'm really excited to wear it. thank you again so much to hey polly and girly pop shop for sending me yo stuff if you guys are in the search for very cute accessories because a lot of people always ask me like oh where'd you get your stuff and i tend to get my things from japan so these are two shops that you can buy from and i hope you guys will support that is it for this video homies dude we have a lot of things upcoming i am going to be doing a huge house homeware 
hull and then maybe just kind of like des designing it and everything. I've been, a lot of people have been asking me like, oh, like your apartment makeover, like we missed those videos. Those things I already said from the beginning, like that was gonna take time because for the most part, I really wanted to find thrifted items. And so it's just a matter of like waiting for that listing to pop up. But while I was in America, I was able to buy and thrift and was gifted homeware items. So I'm really excited to show y'all because I'm so freaking stoked and I really already want to put it in its place, but I was like, wait, I need to film a video for that. But anyways, I will leave you guys here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Alrighties, bye.